is Audrey Loves, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Yummy Nummies Mini Kitchen Magic. Woohoo! I'm super excited to be showing you how to make one of these cute little cheeseburgers and fries. Awesome! And this is the second time that I've done it, so I'm going to give you some tips that I have learned from the first time that I did it. And, yeah, uh, I wanted to get the crazy pop-in cooking thingy or whatever it's called, but I didn't feel comfortable buying online, like, buying food on eBay or whatever. That just sounds kind of weird to me. So, I just got this one. This is the American version. All the food ingredients are made in the USA. And, yeah, let's get started. All right, so here is the Yummy Nummies Mini Kitchen Magic. I'm just going to show you the box. On the side, it just says, like, it says mix and make and enjoy. It says that on both sides. And then on the back, all it says is what the kit includes. And also the ingredients and, you know, just the nutrition facts and stuff like that. Alright, and also I'm going to give you a few tips. Um, so here's what you're going to be needing. Um, you go, you're going to need some water. So I like to put mine in a cup so it's more easier to shovel it out. And of course you need a paper towel. And I'm using one of these um, flexible mats here. These choppy mats so that it doesn't stick to my desk. And I put each um, little powder in these Ziploc bags and I named them so I know which one is which. And the, they're originally in these little tiny packets and it was just too hard to get put in the big like little shovel thingy in here. So I just put them in these little Ziploc bags. And yeah, let's see the stuff and utensils that are in this kit. So now that everything is cut up, you can go ahead and see, we can go ahead and see what's up next and it brings like this little instruction booklet. So first step, or second step, it says you're going to need three, three shovels, so I'm using, we're going to be using this little shovel here, three shovels of the burger powder and three of water. So we're going to get the burger powder mix. So here's the burger. Alright, so we're going to put three of those. And it says the container. So let's see what container it says. In container number one. So you're going to mix all the ingredients in this big container here. So let me open this up. So three of these. One, two, and finally three. All right, and then we can put three of, water, of these waters, but first I'm going to clean it because it does kind of just sticks to the bottom of the shovel. All right, now we're going to put three waters. One, two, three. So we got three waters. And all you gotta do is mix it in with this cute little tiny spoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just gonna clean my spoon here. Okay, now let's see what is the next step. Okay, so the next step says, okay, now we're going to use the bun powder. So you're going to open the bun packet, and it's a tray number two, which is this one. We're going to put five scoops of powder and three scoops of water. So now let's get the bun powder. So here's the buns. All right. Let's open this up. So five scoops of this and three scoops of water. So 
So here's one, two, three, four, and finally five. All right. Now we're going to get those three scoops of water. First, we're going to clean it again. You always want to make sure to clean it every time you, like, scoop something in or out or, you know. So, I'm just going to do that. And now I'm going to put water. One. Two. Three. Right? And then you're going to mix it all in with your little spoon here. Okay, next step, it says um, you have the burgers and buns tray 6, 7, and 8, which are these trays. So we're going to be using these. Um, so I guess you have to put them... In, so you have to put this one and these two and then this one and these two So we're gonna evenly put it in there first. I think I'll just do the um, The bun all right, so I'm gonna use the spoon and then I'm just gonna carefully put it in one of these trays this is only good for one and then you have to cut it in half so this is one whole bun, but then you have to chop it up. So I learned that it kind of just goes good for one. Because, I mean, if you put it in both of them, it only puts in half on each. So if you put it in one, all you got to do once you like microwave it, because that's the next step, you got to cut it in half, but... We'll wait for that part till the end. All right. And then now we can put in the burger mix. Whoa, it's so smushy. So for the burger mix, you're just going to put half and half in here. So there's one half. Smush it in there. And the other half. Scoop on all this stuff here. So for the bun, you just need to put it in one tray, and for the burger, you put it in two. So it kind of makes like a double cheeseburger, is what I'm going to be doing here. For the bun, it says two, but I find it easier if you just put it in one. So there's half burger, half and half the burger, and then one bun. All right. Now, the next step, it says, uh, put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. All right, so I'll be back, and let's see how these turn out. All right. All right, so this is what it looks like out of the microwave. Um, it varies because, you know, different microwaves have, like, different times and stuff like that. So I put mine in for 25 seconds, and this is how it looked like. The bun got really big bigger and it feels very nice and soft which is really cool and here the bun feels nice and squishy so that's good just as long as it's not too liquidy then it's okay all right next step let me see here all right next step is in a tray number four which is this little tray here you're going to put three powders of cheese and a half of um, half of water. All right. So let me open my cheese packet I have here, and I use this little shovel. So it said I think like three of those. So. Here's half because I couldn't get a lot of it out. 
No, it's getting stuck in the corner. Okay. Two. Alright, and then let's get another one. There's not a lot in here, so it kind of makes it more difficult to get it all in there. Yes, three. Did it say three or four? Oh, three. Alright, so that's only three. And I'll put an extra one for good luck. Alright. Getting a lot nice and cheesy here. Huh, alright. And then a half of water. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> So I'm going to clean my spoon just so that it's nice and clean. And then half water. Just going to put a tiny, tiny little bit. Like that much. And then you're set to go. Alright. Now we can go ahead and mix it with the spoon. But I need to clean it first because it's still got hamburger on it. Alright, now let's mix it all together. And then the next step is that you have to flatten it out. So you have, you're supposed to take out the cheese out of this little compartment. And then you have to flatten it out like a little rectangle. It does bring a little piece of waxing paper that you have to use it on. But I'm just using this tray because, you know, yeah. <laughs> For some reason it gets really, really soggy. So... There's my cheese because it's too soggy for me and then you got to cut it. Yep, so beautiful. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, next step <laughs> is, let's see, okay, number seven. Open the fries packet in tray number three and you're supposed to use three scoops of fries and four scoops of water. So, we're going to use number number oh number three oh so here's number three which is this roughly one so we're gonna put three of these one two and three and I'll put another one for good luck all right all right there you go now four scoops of water one two three we'll just put three all right okay so I'm just gonna put it in there like that. Alright, and then it says microwave it for fifth for fifteen seconds. Alright, so let me go microwave it. Alright, so here's what my fries looks like after fifteen seconds in the microwave. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so the next step all you gotta do is push this out like that. And then you're going to use your little tiny knife and just cut it, just cut it into these little rectangles to make the fries. Alright, so here are my little fries. Just going to put them in the side here. Okay, now let's see what's the next step. Okay, next we're going to make the ketchup. So to make the ketchup, you're going to be using um, uh, tray number five. And it says to use two and a half scoops of ketchup powder and three scoops of water. So let's get our ketchup. And our little shovel. So two and a half of this powder. One. Two. And then a half. 
All right. And then three of water. So let me clean this off with my paper tail. Okay, three of water. So one, two, and three. So you can already tell that it's like red, like ketchup. So I'm gonna get my spoon here. All right, so I'm just gonna let it sit there and let it get smushy. All right, <laughs> next step is the soda. And all you gotta do is fill this little container with water. All right, so I'm getting my water. Okay, I got my water. And then you're just gonna put one scoop of soda powder. Now I'm gonna put just one scoop of this soda. Alright, there we go. Now I don't like putting too much because this stuff is really, really sweet. Next is to just assemble the burger. And that's pretty much it. So let's just take this out. Cut it in half. And just rip it apart like that. And then get the burger out. Put it there. Got my cheese. That's super sticky. I don't know why this cheese is so sticky. But put the cheese... And then we have another little patty, so we'll make a ch double cheeseburger here. And then we'll get our ketchup. Put some of this ketchup here. And our bun. And here is our delicious <laughs> meal. Alright, so here's my little cheeseburger and fries. I think I came out I think it came out really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this little um, mini meal, and yeah. Here's the cheeseburger. And my fries with a little bit of ketchup, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want lots of likes, no dislikes, and make sure to subscribe. Bye!